Hi, welcome back to the Power BI Custom Visuals course, and in this module we'll be looking at the Funnel with Source by MAQ Software. Now we've looked at a funnel previously in one of our modules. This one's actually quite similar. The main difference though is the with source piece, and that's going to be the part that you see on the far left here where you can see the different sources of the flow of data that we have inside of our funnel. So really the idea here is a the funnel is a great way of showing a metric across various stages. So it could be stages of a sales pipeline, and this screenshot has stages within different months. It's great at being able to show how a large amount of data or a small amount of data work in their way into different parts of a funnel or a stage. And uh, the nice thing about this visual is you can also display multiple measures as well. So you can have more than one measure. The primary measure shows up on the top. The secondary measure shows up below the color bars that you see. So pretty straightforward. Let's go ahead and walk you through how the uh, funnel with source works. It's a pretty nice little visual. Let's uh, walk you through an example of it. All right, so in this example, we're going to start by going to get some data that we're going to be using. This is going to be sales opportunity data. So we're going to go up to the get data section here and select Excel. And we're going to choose, it's actually this one here called customer opportunities by territory. And I'll select open. So this one will have a spreadsheet in it called opportunity stage, which is going to have various territories, east, west, and central, the different stages of an opportunity. So these are sales opportunities. And then the amount of revenue that those opportunities might generate and the number of units that we might sell for each of those. So I'm going to go ahead and hit load to bring this data into our Power BI data model. You can see it says it's loading it into the data model now. And then we'll go ahead and next import the custom visual that we're going to be using for this one, which is the funnel with source by MAQ software. So you can either select right here to import a custom visual or we can go up to the top ribbon and tell it that we want to bring in a custom visual from the store. Either way will work. So I'm going to go to the top section here, and then we're going to search for and find the funnel. And you can see if I type funnel, there's actually uh, several different types of funnels that are available to you. We're going to be doing the funnel with source by MEQ software, the one on the top here. I'll go ahead and select add. And we see that new custom visual has now been added to our visualization pane. We can go ahead and add that to the design surface here and give it some extra real estate. And then we can tell it how do we want to visualize this. So what I'd like to do is I'm going to bring in a couple fields here. We're going to start by bringing in the stage. So I'm going to drop the stage in as a subcategory. And then I'm going to tell it that I want to see the revenue as my primary measure and the units as my secondary measure. Okay, so you can see the primary measure shows across the top. It's also what is indicated by the size of the sections here. And then the secondary measure shows up in the, un the units here show up on the bottom as a secondary measure. You can also bring in a category. And this is really where the with source comes from where you can take the, in this case, my territory field and drop that underneath the category section here. And you'll notice it's kind of a cross between a funnel chart and a bow tie chart, and that it's bringing me all the sources from where these values come from. So it looks like the east region is my highest as far as revenue earning potential. And I can see west right behind that, and then central after that. You can see there's a different gradient color to each of these. There's also the ability to actually select these to filter based on the different territories. So if I select a certain territory, you'll see it adjust my chart based on that selection. Okay, you can also do some different formatting here. So you'll notice the numbers up top, while they did change when I selected the different values, the formatting is a little bit uh, difficult to really see what those true values are. So you might want to actually go over to the format section, the format paintbrush area here, and adjust some of the formatting here. So for example, the primary data labels, if I wanted to, I could actually tell it instead of doing an automatic display nature here, I can say instead, let's put no automatic display to it and let's just set it to none. And when you set it to none, you can see those true values now returning through here without it rounding and showing those formatted. You can also, if you wanted to, because it's revenue, you want to make it a currency or a dollar amount, I can select the revenue here go up to the modeling ribbon and tell it that I want to format it as, uh, in this example, a U.S. currency. So I could tell it that I want this to be English U.S. currency, and you can see it formats it as a dollar. The same is true for the values that I have on the bottom. Now, you might not be able to see, but there are some values that I probably would want to put, like a comma separator here for the units. So I would select the units here again, click the comma separator, and then you can see it does add that in here. So now they're both formatted really nicely. I can see what the values are and it makes it a little easier to, to really dive in deeper as I select the central, east, and west regions here. You can also do a few other things. If you don't like the colors that are being used, you can change the data colors. So for example, you can see the awaiting approval is set to this kind of Power BI green that you see in almost every one of the visuals. You could change it to something else if you wanted to. 
or you can always hit revert to default to send it right back to where it was. So you have the ability to change the colors that are used for each of the stages that you see here. You also looked at the primary data labels. We already saw the primary data labels. We also saw the pri secondary data labels already. But just note you can change the, the decimal places, the how many decimal places you want to show, the display, as well as the font color. If you want to change the font color of any of the what you see on the top or the bottom, you can do that. You can also change the gradient that you see on the left-hand side. So on the left-hand side where you see this bow tie effect, where the source is being displayed, the category is being displayed, you can change that underneath the gradient section here. And right now you can see the values that are lower are going to be lighter. The values that are higher are going to be the darker color. And if you wanted to, you could switch this around. Maybe rather than showing it in this uh, kind of off green color, you could make it more of a pure red if you wanted to. And maybe you make it somewhere between yellow and red. You can do that and easily change it here if you wanted to. But I'm going to go ahead and revert it to the default, just showing you that you can change it. If you don't want to see a gradient at all, then you can just change, change and select the same color for both the mini and the max, and then you won't see a gradient at all if you don't want that. All right, I'm going to revert it to default just so you can see what it's supposed to look like by default. The last piece here you'll see is there's an option here where you can adjust the connector settings. And the connector is basically the section that you have in between each of these values. So in between each of these stages, you'll see there's this kind of trapezoid uh, shape here that you can actually uh, turn off altogether if you wanted to. So if I turn off connection settings, you'll see those go away altogether. Or if you go underneath the connection settings, you can change the color of them. Right now, it chooses a color for you by default for each of the different stages. But if you would prefer to have those colors be a certain color across the board, you can come to the connector color section here and you can make them all red if you wanted to. You can make them all purple if you wanted to. You can change all of them to the same color here. If you like the fact that it was showing different colors for each, well, that's the only, the only way you can really get that is by having it at the default setting. The default setting allows them to have different colors for each of the stages. You don't really have the ability to come in and modify that yourself. But you will note here that it looks like that connector is always some variant color of the previous one, the previous stage here. All right, so that's really it for this visual. It's a pretty simple visual to work with, but it's showing me how much I have going into my prospects. My prospects where I have every single individual that I prospect to from my sales pipeline working their way down to the approval process to if they demo to if I close one that opportunity and when I actually am awaiting approval. So you can see here that it does work through these different stages very nicely. Hope you guys enjoy this one and look forward to showing you our next custom visual, visual in our next module.